So today we'll be talking about ovarian cancer. So this is basically a growth of cells that forms in the ovaries. And these cells multiply quickly and can invade and destroy healthy body tissue. So it's important to note that the female reproductive system contains two ovaries, one on each side of the uterus or what we call the womb. And they're basically the size of an almond and they produce the egg as well as hormone, estrogen and progesterone. So what symptoms you may have if you have ovarian cancer? You can have um, symptoms that are not noticeable at all. So you can be very asymptomatic. But if you have symptoms, the most common one can be abdominal bloating or swelling, quickly feeling full when you're eating, weight loss, discomfort in your pelvic area, fatigue, back pain, changes in your bowel habits such as constipation or even a frequent need to urinate. So it's important to note that if you are having any of these symptoms, you should get it checked out with your doctor as soon as possible. Because the earlier you get it checked out and it's recognized, the better it is to get treated very quickly. It's also important to note that women of older age, if they have a genetic condition or a genetic changes, a family history of ovarian cancer or if they're overweight or obese they take postmenopausal hormone replacement therapy if they have endometriosis or if they've started menstruating at a very early age or started to go through menopause at a late age or if they have never been pregnant, all these things are risk factors which makes you more prone to getting ovarian cancers. So how would you prevent it? So a thing to consider to prevent ovarian cancer is basically taking birth control pills. So you can ask your doctor which birth control or whether it's a good option for you because it decreases the risk of ovarian cancer because they basically limit the amount of estrogen in your body. You should also discuss with your doctor the risk factors you may have that may put you at risk for getting ovarian cancer and discuss any issues you may have with your doctor. And if you do have ovarian cancer, you will be considered for surgery to remove your ovaries and get rid of the cancer among other treatment and that's it for this video on ovarian cancer what's your experience with ovarian cancer don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and for lots more interesting content until next time see you soon bye